Hello everyone, this is Dipali and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will be talking about adding custom fields in the time of section. If you happen to be new, please consider subscribing down below. Now let's see how we can add custom fields in the time of section. In order to add custom fields, we should be able to identify which object we should choose to add custom fields because if we add custom fields in the right section it would display correctly for us let's go to configure object definitions i'll go to object definition employee time because i want to add a custom field in the time of section Take action, make correction, come down below. You will see there are so many custom fields already added. I will add a couple more. Say I'll try to add a string field. I have just named it as db underscore string. I'll go to details. And here you can see the name db underscore string is already coming because I just added here. The maximum length of a string could be 256 characters. Here you can create custom fields of multiple data types starting from string number auto number decimal boolean so these are the usual data types that we use here and foundation object and generic objects say for example if you want to show location details in the time of section so we will create the custom field as a foundation object or if you want to add another generic object as a custom field so you can add the data type as generic object as well and then map it with the correct generic object so that the data starts populating correctly here just to keep simple i will create a string field and an attachment field just to show how you can add custom fields you can add a user field as well so i will keep the data type as string here you can add a label as well if there are translations maintained you can add here the default value us english as the same what your label is you can also add different rules to this field say for example you want to initialize this field or set the value of this field based on another field or different on change rules can also be added here and then the filter criteria where you want to filter one field based on the selection in another so i've already added a date field here i will add one more attachment field and give the data type as attachment and label as db underscore attachment click on finish and save once these fields are added we can go to the time of section either in the admin center or in the employees time off just to see how these fields appear if you go to the home and search for an employee we click on leave and attendance administer time and try to create a new absence from the new absence button here if you come down you will see all these custom fields that are added here the date string and attachment here you can add any attachment if you want to and then you can submit the time records the same fields would also be coming up when the employee does the self-service so i proxy now this employee
So once I have proxied as this employee, I'll go to the time of section of this employee by clicking on the time of tile and I'll try to create a new absence from the time of self-service. Here if I come down, I will see that I'm able to see DB date, DB string and attachment and these are those three custom fields which I have just added in the employee time object in the configure object definitions. So this is how you can add custom fields in the employee time object and the similar method can be used to add custom fields in other objects as well. You just need to identify the right object where you want to add the custom fields. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope it was helpful for you. Please do check my other videos as well and do comments in the comment section if you're looking for any specific topics in the employee central area. See you soon in my next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.